how to manipulate the variables right, it is a, particularly with older clients, it is a slam dunk to get them really amazingly strong. Um, and it's so much fun. We bring in a brand new 20-something year old off the street. And you set them up in their machines, you go back and you look at our 83-year-old client. And it's like, we're really doing something here. You know, I, I don't know if any of y'all remembered one of the family practice docs here. He had really severe COPD. And uh, he actually came in in respiratory fa failure um, and did not want to be put on a ventilator. And I convinced him to be put on a ventilator. And um, what he feared the most happened. He stayed on the ventilator for over two weeks before he was able to be gotten off. But the silver lining on that cloud is afterwards he ended up coming to the facility. Um, and he went from being oxygen bound, wheelchair bound COPD -er to strong and functional and ambulatory, went on not one but two cruises with his wife and did not bring a wheelchair along on the trip, was able to go and see all the sites. Um, where did Mr. Davis go? There's a tour, the pyramid somewhere. I don't know if it was Mexico he's, or Egypt, but. He's not my clients. I don't yeah. Know what but he was the only one on the tour group to walk up the steps to the top of the pyramid. 83 year old. Everyone else was, you know, stopped one third of the way up and couldn't make it. He went all the way to the top, looked around, saw the sights, came down. You know, that's, that's what's possible and that's, it's not just that, it's our birthright. It's, that's what we're meant to be. We're not meant, we're meant to be like the one Shea horse. We're meant to go like this. And then when we get hit a really extreme advanced age, just go We're not meant to go and then cruise along forever at this very low level of functioning on 20 different medications. That's not our birthright. It's not what we're meant to be. We're meant to be really strong and functional and have an appropriate body composition and thrive. And that's the saddest thing is, and what we try to get across in this book, is that the process of achieving that is extraordinarily simple, straightforward, and that you don't have to devote your life to getting meaningful results out of your diet or your exercise. I mean, you can actually enjoy yourself. Being the non-salesman now, I can honestly tell you, this isn't for everyone, okay? Um, and I like it that way. Um, for those of you who don't know, my main gig is I'm an emergency physician. And I spend a large chunk of my professional life seeing a lot of people that don't assume any responsibility for their health and that come to me in the 11th hour when everything is going down the drain and want me to save them. And when I ask them to be an active participant in that activity, they don't want any part of it. And that's maddening. What I love about my business is it is a controlled environment. We do one thing at a time. We do it well. And we do it for people that come in and pay us money to push them really hard and do something severely uncomfortable in order to affect self-improvement. And that's a very rare person that we are very proud to be associated with.